Hi, this is Neil here from the Dirt Floor Workshop. Today I'm going to talk, today's video is about the shaper and more specifically the table feed. Now, the table feed is controlled by this screw which runs through here. The table feed has got a pitch of 200 thou and I'll demonstrate that by, I've got this here set up at zero and the little dial here is set up at zero. Now I'm going to turn this one one complete revolution and I'm starting off from here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You'll notice I've, I'm about halfway, halfway, halfway through 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, one complete revolution, 200 thou. Now this this dial, this gauge here is graduated in thousand, thousandths of an inch. So you can get a, a fairly fairly fine adjustment with this with this thread. Now what I'm going to do, uh, when, the, when the shaper does a cut, the cutting tool comes out here and then as it goes back, the table is supposed to move at that point. When it comes out again, it does a straight cut, and then when it goes back, as it's going back, the table is supposed to move over. Now, if you don't, if that doesn't happen, you get a diagonal cut. If the, if the tool is coming out and the same time as the table is moving, you'll get a slight diagonal cut. Not much, but you will get a diagonal cut, and that's to be avoided. Um, today, um, today's video I'm going to show you how to make sure that your machine is set up so that you don't get a diagonal cut, so you get a nice straight cut. Now, as with most things on a shaper, it's best to do it with the motor switched off and in neutral. And I'll just put that in neutral and I'll wind this over by hand. Now, I'll put this, I'll engage this little, this little ratchet. Now, the way this is set up with the arrow facing that way means that the table will feed in that direction. Click. Click, 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 click as the as the machine is as the tool is going back, you'll notice that the the table is feeding. And when the when the ram is coming out, click, 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 click. Now that's exactly the way you want it to be. But if it was wrong, you've got two options. One, you can change the direction of the table here by simply pulling this up and turning that around like that. The other option is you move this little this bolt here in the T-slot. Now, this on this machine, this is a left-hand thread, so I just turn that that way, move that across like that. Now, I'll move this to maximum so that we can see this see the full effect of this. Now as I wind this, you'll notice that as the ram, as the tool is cutting, the table is feeding at the same time. And when the, when the tool is coming back, it's ratcheting. 
Now that's not what you want. That will create a diagonal cut. So I'll go back here and put this in the original position. Now, the position that you put this in determines how many clicks of this ratchet. So if you have this towards the centre, you only get a couple of clicks. If you have it right out towards the outside, you get a lot. Now, in this case, I'll just put it fairly close to the centre so we get a not too aggressive feed now it wouldn't be a shape of video unless we did some cutting so that's what I'm going to do now Now, we just do a test run like this to make sure that we're not fouling, we're not hitting anything, the tool's not, the tool's not hitting and doing anything, we're, we're running a complete cycle without causing any damage to the machine, we're dropping off the edge so we get a, a we cut there and at this end we've got enough room for the clapper to drop back into the original position. So we're now we've checked all that, we're right to go. Now I'm going to do a feed of probably 10 thou. That's enough for this demonstration. So here goes. I made a complete fool of myself there, didn't I? I forgot to wind the table back. This should look better.
Anyway, that's a video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.